What's going on guys? Brandon here from B&T's Radical Boas and Pythons and today we're going to be talking about snake body language. Stay tuned. So when it comes to a calm snake, this is about the calmest snake I have. This is an adult boa constrictor. Uh, I absolutely love this snake. He is like tamest of the tame. Um, he is going on almost four years old, a little bit under four years old. Growing great, great eater. Uh, as you can see right now, he's a little bit assed up. If you look right, right there, he's a little bit assed up. So if I were to put my hand close to his face, he would probably strike at me just because uh, if you put anything in front of a snake's face, it's more than likely gonna strike at it. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, if you can see though, right at his tongue there um he's doing short tongue strokes not long ones that just means that he's tasting the air and he is not um aggressive right now now if he were he would be having long tongue strokes and uh, i know this snake well enough that i can reach over here and touch him like this and he's not going to do anything. He's very calm. I could actually pick him up f from here and him be totally okay with it. Now, had his head come over my way towards my hand, I would know, hey, I need to back up. Always respect these beautiful, beautiful animals. Yes, it is a snake, but yes, it is still a wild animal. This is a reptile, this is not a cat, this is not a dog, nothing like that. This is a reptile. They could and will bite you. Um, I'm not saying that he ever has because he hasn't, but he could at some point in his life, whether it be my mistake or by his aggression, some days, just like us, snakes just having a bad day, they don't want to be messed with. Same instance here. But he's doing great. Awesome little boy. I love him to, to, to death. He's a very curious little guy, but he's super sweet. Now this girl is a totally different story. This is my female lipstick sun glow boa. Uh, yes, her cage door is nasty because she likes to splash water everywhere. Um, if you can tell right now, she is fired up and ready to go. Anytime anybody is in this room, she is ready to go. She would strike on me at any time right now. Even normally, even if I get close to the glass, she will strike at me. And once I have her out of the enclosure, she's completely fine. She's just very cage aggressive, meaning that she's very territorial. Now, if you can see her head, she's not really flicking her tongue all that much at all. Just barely. Once in a blue moon. And she's following my hand as we speak, waiting on me to open this cage so that she can strike at my hand. Uh, also, she's very essed up right now. Um, at that at that range, she could hit me from probably about right here. Um, and that's if she doesn't lunge with her entire body. If she just lunged from that position, she could strike me pretty good. Uh, most to the time, 
it's just a strike and let go if I am bitten. Uh, sometimes it's she actually hangs on. This girl is, again, very, very cage aggressive. She's a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful snake, though, and I love her. Uh, okay, I'm going to try to open up the cage now. I'm going to go over here to this lock, unlock it. We're going to go right here and unlock this one and see what happens. Now, from here, I would not reach here and pull down this cage. She would lunge out at me and bite me on the arm. Uh, so I'm going to go over here to this other side, let it down. Now again, as you can see, she's very assed up. She's PO'd, waiting on anything and anybody to step foot in this cage. And right now I'm trying my best not to get bit try to get as close as possible to her and as you can see man there's hardly any tongue strokes at all just little bitty bitty ones there we go that's a good shot she's so beautiful though man so beautiful but normally what I've got to do to her is I'll take a hook and I will rub her a little bit. Let her know, hey, it's okay. Calm her down some. Just like that. She calms down pretty easy. Now, um, I wanna show you again, if I were to reach in this cage and grab her body, I want you to watch her and my phone cut off, guys. Sorry about that. Anyways, uh, now as you can see, she's in an even better S position right here. Now, if I were to reach over here, right over here, she's watching me right now. Even if I wasn't moving, she's watching me. And she could strike at any given moment. And right now, honestly, she could probably reach out and snag my knee. It would hurt pretty bad, not gonna lie. Um, and if I were to try to reach for her body over here, all the way in the back, she would follow my hand and she would nail me either on the arm or on the hand. Now, if I were to grab the hook again and redirect the head, redirect, redirect, redirect. Now, I'm not pressing hard. I'm just barely pushing her head. Let her know it's okay. It's okay. Turn the head. Turn the head. Okay, now her head is away from me at this point. So at this point, I would reach back here. Oops, excuse me. And I would grab her body. Either here or at the back. Towards the back of the body right here. Because now I know, hey, she knows that it's not time to eat. Now... Did you see how she swung her head around? That's because I was hesitating to pick her up. I never, ever hesitate to pick up an animal. There's a reason, because if you hesitate, that snake can literally feel, hey, he's nervous about touching me. I'm gonna nail him, and they'll do it every time. So if I were to put my hand in there again, Right now, she would probably nail me. Um, watch this. Place my hand in here. See there? She's coming for it. Anyways, that's a little, a little bit about uh, snake aggression. Let's move on to the next one. All right, excuse the messy bowl. Uh, I just now opened up her cage, and of course she's done this because she does this every day. So I have to clean out her water bowl multiple times a day, you know. It's just part of the snake life. Okay, now this is a female T-positive albino matrix blood python. Yes, she is a sweet girl, but again, uh, she is very cage aggressive. Now, I know that I know that I know if I were to reach in there right now 
and grab that water bowl up, she's going to nail me. Uh, and I can tell that by her head is positioned right here. Okay. Now she's looking up towards the water bowl. So if I were to grab the water bowl here, she's going to grab me. And of course, she's not striking at the hook because the hook is not giving off any heat. Okay, uh, blood pythons are notorious for striking in multi directions. And by that, I mean, even though her head is here, she could literally strike all the way back here in just a matter of seconds. She could strike side to side she could strike forward and blood pythons also have a really bad habit of when they do strike they lunge their whole bodies at times now um if i were going to pick her up i would simply rub her on the head a little bit rub her body to let her know hey it's not time to eat okay Redirect the head a little bit. Redirect, maybe go. Come on, there you go. Okay. Now her head is actually hidden under the bedding. So I'm going to reach over here. And yes, all this is going to probably go in the water bowl, but that's okay. Now I'm going to go up under the snake. Okay. Try to go up under as much as you can. Okay. Now, as you can see, I did that on purpose, guys. To show you her movement is called bucking b-u-c-k-i-n-g bucking and that is to get me away from her body so that I can't pick her up now if I saw her head coming towards me I would absolutely move and as you can see her head is coming up see that her head's coming up in other words hey don't muck with me I'm about to sh sh strike at you and you're making me mad so we're gonna try it one more time here we're gonna have to get her out from around the bowl to even pick her up okay now I would go under the snake just like this picking her up underneath and pick her up out of the cage and now she's completely fine. Again, though, keep an eye on the snake's head at all times, guys. Never not look at where a snake's head is pointing because that will be the time that you mess up and it will nail you. This, this little girl's a sweetheart, but again, she's very... A cage aggressive I know I know I'm petting her she must not be that cage aggressive well that's because I've hook trained all of my animals and I let them know when I'm coming into the cage and I again redirect the head um, now we're gonna go to an animal that's a little bit more aggressive as far as blood pythons okay here we have our female golden eye blood python and she's about ready for a new enclosure she's getting a little chunky and a little big on me uh, as you can see she's made an absolute mess of her cage uh, she dumped her water bowl completely over um, and all of her bedding is wet now it's not that wet it's just nice and moist actually and blood pythons need a little bit more uh, humidity as well than other species of python and so I took her water bowl out and everything uh, and this girl is just very very unpredictable she's got stuff all over her head all over her body everything um, she might even hiss here in a minute if I get her riled up now I could pick her up probably but as you can see her head is turning towards me she kicked right here she kicked if you need to uh, re re rewind the video just a little bit there 
you can tell that her body kicked just a little bit right here and as you can see she's watching every move I make right now uh, she's got short tongue tongue strokes which tells me that she's not really mad mad so if I were to pick her up right now you can probably hear her hissing okay yeah you can hear her hissing a little bit Shh. Cause she's a little angry so me personally if uh, they hiss like that I try to go ahead and take them completely out of the enclosure and handle them and let them know that hey it's okay um, this snake r r right now you wouldn't think is in a striking position trust me guys this snake like I said with the other blood they can literally strike at any position. If I'm way back here on the back end of her tail even, if I were to grab right there, I guarantee you she's gonna swing around here and go bop and hit me. And it's gonna hurt. So um, how do I handle these guys again? I'll show you. I hook train them redirect the head you're not looking reach in grab the animal out oh see right there Shh, she was coming at me not good not good so but you don't hesitate guys redirect the head reach in pick her up take her out and that's it that's how you handle them yes she's hissing but hey, it's okay. A lot of snakes are all bluff and no bite. Some snakes are bluff and bite, and some snakes just freaking bite and it hurts. All right, so here we have our little baby male albino patternless, 100% head for granted Burmese python. These guys are growing really fast and really good. They're great eaters. Uh, they're also kind of hook trained. Uh, not all the way, but kind of. Uh, but again, I'm just going to show you some examples of some aggression. Um, this guy's actually watching every move I make right now. Uh, his tongue strokes, as you can tell, are just a little bit longer than the other snakes that I've handled. Or reach in there, he gets a little mad. He's, he starts hissing. He starts puffing up. Puffing up his body to look big and bad. Thinks he's really something to us. Alright, so now, reaching here. Grab on him a little bit. He's still. You see how the body is swelling up? Even as I touch him with a hook. He's so mad right now. Now, if I were to stick my hand in there, of course, he's gonna nail me. He's hissing, he has long tongue strokes, he's zest up, and at this position, he could probably nail me completely outside of this enclosure. So what I would do, I would take him just like this, reach down, grab him, and everything's cool. Now he's totally fine. And he knows that I'm not here to harm him. And that's how you handle the snake, guys. Uh, as far as body language, I'm just now explaining to you everything on the babies. Uh, we'll go to the hypo and see how she does real fast. So I just wanted to show you right here. This is exactly why we try to hook train. Because if this was my hand, this would have happened. Boom. Perfect example. All right, guys. So I just want to make some things pretty clear here. Um, not all snakes are aggressive at all, actually. Um, there's a lot of snakes that are not aggressive at all. Ball pythons, great example. Um, very tame snakes. Some are aggressive, yes. 
some are not aggressive. Just, it depends on the animal. But again, most, most of every animal, I say most because not all, most of every uh, snake can be tamed out with time and patience. And uh, also uh, hook training helps as well. Um, but you have to work with them. You can't just let them lay there in the cage 24 seven and not ever touch them, not ever mess with them, nothing like that. Because if you reach in a cage to grab a snake that has never been handled, guess what? You're gonna get bit every time, every single time. And that's why you need to put your trust in that animal and that animal will put its trust in you that, hey, this guy is not here to harm me. This guy is not here to hurt me or nothing like that. Um, you want to instill that in the snake's mind. So um, I just wanted to clear that up that not, you know, all snakes are aggressive. I just did this video to explain a little bit of the body language of snakes so that you would understand that it's not, it's not that they don't want you to hold them, it's that they're scared. You're a big human being. They're a small snake. You know, yes, I understand that uh, things like Burmese pythons and stuff like that are humongous snakes, but you have to understand, guys, you're a human. They're an animal. It's totally different, you know, species, if you will. So, um, anyways, guys, that that's all I have for this video. We're going to do another video pretty soon on uh, building confidence while handling snakes. Anyways, we'll see you in the next one.